Hey everyone, it's me Oli from Retaliate, and as you guys can see, I am back on Fortnite. Now I am back in England now, so I am going to be uploading as much as I possibly can. I was going to release a really big video today, however, I wasn't actually able to finish it in time, so I'm going to be working on a really big video, and that should be coming out in the next few days if I can get everything working. And basically, it's going to be a gameplay style video, so I'm going to put a lot of effort into it, and hopefully I can release that soon. But today, I am going to be covering some more Fortnite glitches for you guys. Now, since I've been gone, there has been quite a few glitches, so I'm going to be showing you some of the best ones. And also, there are some brand new ones that I'm going to be showing you guys, and there's one that I just found about half an hour ago. Go. and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to really enjoy this one so I'm going to show you in a second just before we get into the video huge shout out to everyone that's been following us on Instagram if you do want to shout out in the next video make sure you do follow us also I am going to try and make some changes to the videos I'm going to try and make them more entertaining and stuff like that so I am going to try and change the style of videos but just before we get into this one make sure you go to the item shop press into support a creator type in retaliate and as you guys can see mine's actually expired so you just want to type in retaliate and press into accept anyway we're going to get straight into this compilation so as you guys know there's a glitch where you could enter the mech and your friend would delete at the same time and basically what would happen when you self-destructed it is it would make you completely invincible and then if you respawned and you went back to the hub it would make a duplicate of your character so it's like a voodoo doll glitch now i have been messing around and i found a really easy way to actually do a solo so i don't know how no one's found this yet and all you want to do is you want to stomp like this you want to return to the hub and all we're going to do is we're going to enter our island again and you guys are going to see if we actually go back down to here and we enter it and we stomp one more time you're going to see now if we try swapping seats it's not actually going to let us swap seats so now you can just self-destruct like this and you're going to see you actually are going to stay in it so this is kind of sick how you can do this and i don't know how no one's actually found this yet so you can see i'm walking around and now it's going to freeze us and now if we actually respawn and we return to the hub you're going to see that we will actually return and we won't be able to swing our pickaxe and a quick work around for that it's just respawning again and now you guys are going to see when we go back to our island there will be a duplicate of us on the floor so let me try and find it and here we go you can see it's over here so we can actually hit this character and when we hit it it actually does damage to us so you can see i'm actually taking damage and you can do some really cool stuff with this so you can do stuff like throw certain things also you can see i can't actually use weapons now a little work around that physically just showed me to actually use weapons is just get an infinity blade like this we then want to get another weapon so say if i want to get a prefab for example i can also do prefab so say i want to get this i can just go inside of my inventory drag out this and now i can actually throw down the prefab so you can do this to actually go and get to the devices and you can actually do the superman glitch with this so if you do want to do the superman glitch i'm pretty sure you can and you can do it completely solo anyway i knew a lot of you guys would like this because there is other ways of doing it solo but they're so difficult and this is definitely the easiest method anyway let's get straight into the next one so a lot of you guys know that there's tons of different methods to get you created inventory on the main island now there's actually a brand new way and this is probably the easiest way so all you need to do is you want to put down a mech like this and we're just going to enter the mech and we're going to exit and it's literally as simple as that and you guys are going to see now we can actually fly now if it stops you from flying you guys know you just door tap and you can fly again now you guys are going to see if i actually go inside of my inventory here i can actually get anything i want so i can get literally anything i want and i thought i'd show you guys this because it is a new method and if you guys are having trouble with the other method this is definitely a lot easier so now you can literally do whatever you want and something that's really cool is you can actually go into phase mode and you can go completely under the map now a lot of you guys know about this so obviously i'm not going to go into detail with it but i thought you guys would find it cool and let's get straight into the next glitch so as you guys can see here i'm actually in an invisible mech and this is actually really sick so this was found by physio ninja so a huge shout out to him and as you guys can see i can completely use the mech with all of the features and it's just completely invisible now i can actually swap seats as well and i can use a missile launcher so you're going to see here i can actually launch missiles and stuff like that and unfortunately this only works in creative but it is still really sick now it's really easy to do and i'm going to be showing you guys how to do it now so as you guys can see here we've got the mech and all we're going to do is we're going to delete it with our phone swap to our pickaxe and then we're going to enter so it's going to be delete and swap to your pickaxe and then enter so it can take a few attempts but once you get used to it you'll be able to do it almost every single try so let me try it now and it didn't work that time and i'll keep on doing it until i hit it so as you guys can see here i've literally just done it again and it is really easy to do so it only took me like three or four attempts so you shouldn't really have any issues with this if you are doing it on console it may be a bit more difficult i'm not 100 percent sure so i'm pretty sure it is possible on console but it might be a little bit more difficult anyway i thought you guys would find this pretty sick and again you can actually go into the gunner seat and stuff like that so it is really fun to do and other people can see this so if you are with your friends they will be able to see an invisible mech and that is it for this glitch and let's get straight into the next one so there's actually a brand new way to disable your guns in public games and all you need to do is you want to get something like this so i'm just going to use a chug splash and we're going to throw it at the same time as entering so it can take a few attempts i don't think it worked that time but you will see when it works when you swap to your weapon it will be completely invisible and i'm pretty sure it disables them as well so let me keep on trying and i'm not sure if epic games have fixed this yet so they may have actually fixed it but i'm going to keep on trying and see if i can hit it i think it's actually worked this time it only took like three or four attempts and you can see now i can't actually shoot now it's not actually invisible for some reason i'm not 100 percent sure why but you can see it's complete disabled and i can't use anything so i can't use my phone and obviously this isn't helpful and a lot of you guys are going to be like what's the point of this but it is actually funny if you're in a random 
squad or something and you just want to troll them so if you do want to troll people you can tell them to do this and say that it's like a god mode glitch or something and then the entire match they won't be able to shoot now this is really unfair but obviously it's kind of funny anyway i'll let you guys use this glitch however you want to and let's get straight into the next one so as some of you guys may know if you actually go into my island there's a lot more settings now and one of the settings i added was the camera filters now it's this really cool retro one and it's this one here and you're gonna see when you turn it on everything looks so sick so obviously this looks amazing but you're not supposed to have it on the main island now obviously as you guys know there's a glitch to get your infantry on the main island and when you actually do that glitch it actually takes over the filter as well so all you want to do is you want to do the glitch that we did before and you're gonna see once we exit we actually have this effect everywhere so we can go all the way to the main island and it looks so sick so i'm pretty sure you guys are gonna enjoy this because it's just so cool to explore the entire map when everything looks like this and as you guys can see here everything looks really angular and it just looks so sick also when you go to the meteor you can see the trail that the meteors left it looks so amazing with this glitch so you can see every little bit of detail i just think it's really cool how everything changes color and stuff like that also the characters look really sick so if you do want to explore the entire fortnite map in a completely different way then just do this glitch and obviously have a really cool result now i'm not actually sure what happens if you go into tilted town i'm pretty sure we'll cancel the glitch so as you guys can see it did cancel glitch unfortunately so make sure you avoid tilted town and retail room anyway let's get straight into the next one so as you guys know you obviously take full damage in normal games now it's actually a way to stop yourself from taking as much full damage and this was found by scarlet and it's more of a tip than a glitch but you can see if i actually fall from here you're gonna see i will die so here we go you can see i died and i took 100 damage now something that scarlet found out is if you actually land on a tree you're not gonna take as much full damage so you can actually survive so if you're all the way over here you can actually survive if you land on the tree so i'm gonna try and do it now it may take a few attempts but you can see it didn't work that time but if you get in the correct position you can actually survive so i'll try and do it again so here we go guys i'm gonna try it again and i'm gonna try and line up perfectly now i'm not sure if it works with every single type of tree because I think it depends on the hitbox, but you can see that time it actually worked and I took barely any fall damage. So I still took a bit of fall damage, but obviously I took nowhere near as much and I didn't actually die. So if you were in a normal game, you could actually use this to survive. Now you can actually do it from a lot higher as well. And what I did here is I actually built a floor and I lined myself up and then I edited it. So if you do that, it's a lot easier. And that time I took a lot of fall damage. So it does depend on how you line yourself up, but it is quite easy to do. Anyway, that's a really useful tip for public games. So make sure you definitely use that to your advantage because I'm pretty sure you don't even have glider redeploy items anymore. Anyway, let's get straight into the next one. So as you guys may know, there used to be tons of ways to make floating objects. Now there's not that many ways to do it in creative anymore and I'm pretty sure there's no ways of doing it in actual public games. However, there's one way that I'm pretty sure does work in creative and I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. So all we're going to do is we're going to delete this and whilst it's destroying, we're going to quickly go into my island and we're going to start the game. So I'm going to start it now and hopefully it's actually worked. I'm not 100% sure if it does still work. I am just testing this, but I'm pretty sure it should work. So as you guys can see here, it actually does work. And basically what I did is I started the game and after I started it, I just left the game and you can see we actually do have a floating build. It's not invisible. It is actually floating. So that's really easy to do and I wasn't 100% sure if it did still work But as you guys can see it obviously does now I'm not actually sure if you can expand on the builds by the looks of it You can't and I'm not sure if you copy something I'm pretty sure it doesn't place So as you guys can see it doesn't actually place and if you mess it up like that It will destroy so again, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's really simple So again, all you need to do is build a little platform and whilst it's getting destroyed like this We're just gonna start the game So we're gonna go into my island and once it's close to the top We're just gonna start the game and I'm not actually sure if I did it in time this time So it may have actually worked. I'm not 100% sure though. You can see inside of the game We can't actually see it but the second we actually leave the game we should be able to see it so we're going to try it again now and let's see if it's actually worked so now what we're going to do is return to the island and you saw the platform did appear so the platform should be there and as you guys can see we do have the floating platform now that is actually a really easy method so make sure you use this whilst you can and obviously if epic games patch this glitch these still will be here so you can actually place items and stuff like that as well so if you have traps you can actually place them which is pretty cool and unfortunately there's no way of doing it in public games at the moment but if there is i'll let you guys know and let's get straight into the next one so this next glitch actually allows you to remove the annoying retail row effect so as you guys know when you go instead of retail row you have this really annoying effect now it does make everything look cool but there's actually a way to remove it so you do actually have an advantage to other players because you can see everything a lot better and it also stops the music so this is found by gross 15 a huge shout out to him he uploads a lot of good glitches so make sure to check him out and all we're going to do is we're going to build next to this hill here now this is behind retail row and you can see we're just going to build on this little hill here and all we want to do is we want to go inside of the barrier like this we're going to edit like this and we're going to run back and the second we cross this part here we're actually going to confirm the edit so let's try it now and you can see I've actually done it first time. This is my first time trying it. So you guys should have no problem trying to do this. And you can see now we've actually removed the effect. Now again, a huge shout out to Gross for finding this. And this just makes this so much more enjoyable. So this is basically getting back the old retail row. And obviously zombies will still spawn and everything, unfortunately. But it is cool that you can actually explore retail row without the annoying effect everywhere. And obviously this does work in public games. I'm just doing it in creative to show you guys. And I'm pretty sure that was the final glitch. So there we go, guys. That was all for glitches. I hope you did enjoy this compilation. If you did, make sure you do give the video a like because it does help the video get recommended. And recently, 
Currently, YouTube haven't been recommending any of my videos. I don't know why it's not getting recommended, but if you do want to support this video and you want to support the channel and help us get to 100k, the best way of doing that is by subscribing if you're not subscribed already and also liking the video. Also, a huge shout out to everyone that is still using my supporter creator code. There's a lot of people that don't actually re-enter it, so a huge shout out to everyone that always remembers to re-enter the code. Also, I am working on a big video, so hopefully that does get released soon. Make sure you do turn on post notifications so you don't miss out when it drops. As you guys may have noticed, I have this really sick skin and this is obviously modded. Now, me and Aquaplace did make this and I have actually started my second channel again so if you guys do want to see modding videos and modded skin showcases and stuff like that then make sure you do subscribe to my second channel even if you're on Xbox and you can't do the modding yourself it's still really cool because they basically just showcase modded skins so if you do like those kind of videos then make sure you do subscribe because i'm going to be uploading on there at least once a week anyway that was it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye